The nation's economic crisis is topic number one on the campaign trail for the past week or so. The presidential candidates McCain and Obama each faced with the daunting tasks, should they get elected, get the country back on, the, on track financially. This morning on NBC's Today Show, Senator John McCain gave his view of the situation. History shows us that if you raise people's taxes in tough economic times, that makes problems worse. That goes back to the Hoover administration, the most serious crisis since World War II. So if the economic problems are the biggest we've faced in more than 60 years, what exactly caused it? Senator Barack Obama offered his take last night on CBS's 60 Minutes. There, there were a lot of factors involved, uh, but I think there is no doubt that if we had had a regulatory system that had kept pace with the changes in the financial system, that would have had an enormous impact in containing some of the problems that are out there. So how have the candidates handled the issue of the economic meltdown so far, and who has the better plan? With us now, former Huckabee campaign manager and one-time Tennessee GOP chairman Chip Saltzman, and on the Democratic side, Bernard Whitman, a former pollster for President Clinton. B Bernard, it's been harder to get a take from specifics from Barack Obama, I think, if you're being fair about it. Well, no, I don't think so. I think Barack Obama has been very clear he wants to recover some of this money, he wants to protect working families, and he wants to uh, institute prevention. And prevention means government regulation and oversight, two things that John McCain has spent two decades fighting against. And Shep, let me tell you this. Putting John McCain in charge of the economy now would be like electing the fox to guard the hen house. This is someone who has railed against regulation for 25 years, and that's exactly why we're in the financial mess Ship. that faces us today. <laughs> Yeah, let, let me get on this. First of all, I would say that both candidates have probably done an okay job with this. And what's happened is they've kind of eased into it. They've gotten a little bit better. And what's going to end up happening is the American people are going to take away what the Democrat Congress is going to do with this bill, which is if you see it today, every one of them starting to wade in a little deeper and a little deeper with Christmas tree items, with more money. Right now, it's a $700 billion blank check, which I don't think there's a lot of people to agree with. But I think at the end of this week, you may end up seeing a trillion dollars with a lot of pet projects on from the Democrats. Chip, That's not going to be good for Democrats or Obama. Chip, you're the Republican here, but are you concerned at all that, that the president is pushing the Congress to work so fast on this thing? I mean, it is the overhaul of the entire financial system in 72 hours. <laughs> Yeah, you, you would think they'd want to take a little time. I think they wanted to do something really quick to kind of stabilize the markets. Well, they've done that. They the talked reasons, to stabilize it. So, you know, that's right. We're only what down 333 today. today. That's right. The, the market's going to continue to dance until they have something concrete, which they're going to do something out there. They're going to rush onto it. You saw Senator Dodd talking about government having ownership of some of this, which is not kind of like socialism. It is socialism. You're going to see, you know, everybody's got their little pet projects and how they want to fix the economy. And the Dow is going to continue to jump until they figure out what they want to do. And I would like them to see take a little bit longer and come up with a solution that's long term as opposed to run out there and just give them a blank check. But We've seen this before in our history, it usually doesn't work out well. Bernard, what about that? Well, I, what I find ironic is for John McCain to go after a Secretary Paulson. I was talking about how quickly they're doing it, you well, know, I, I, the push from the president to get it done lickety split. I think we do need a more measured response. I think it is critically important that we include not uh, Christmas tree items, but real help for the American taxpayers, help for people who might lose their homes, and ensure that we're not using this bailout to enrich uh, CEOs. But i, I got to say, Shep, for McCain to criticize Paulson for saying, trust me, that's a, that's a page right on McCain. McCain's playbook. He has been saying all along, trust me on the economy. We have not heard specifics from John McCain for months. And I think this economic crisis, he's finally realized that the economy is not fundamentally sound. But I think to put it in the hands of someone who has helped shape the lack of regulation that we find ourselves in now would be a terrifically dangerous mistake. President Clinton was on The View this morning. We'll show you that with these two guys and a PR dude next. President Clinton making his first visit to the Ladies of the View this morning. The first question, did Hillary Clinton want to be Barack Obama's vice presidential candidate? Here's his response. Not really, no. I mean, I, first of all, I had no... Not really. She didn't. Not really. Not really, not really didn't. she didn't, and I had no real opinion. I, I think that it's very important once a party gets the nominee. It's, it's a very personal decision who should be vice president. And uh, I like Senator Biden a lot. I think it was a good choice. Uh, I, she, w she would have been the best politically, at least in the short run, because of her enormous support in the but country. But she didn't want it. Not particularly. She, but she didn't. She wanted. She said that if he asked, I'll do it because it's my duty. But I think, 
Look, she loves being a senator from New York, and she has more freedom to develop her positions on the issues and do her things. She would have done it if she'd been asked. Frazier Seitel's with us now after the Clinton appearance on The View, and the other guys are back as well. Chip Saltzman, and uh, who's former campaign manager for Huckabee, and uh, who else is there? Bernie Whitman. You heard Bernie? You hear that? You know, the, the internets are all abuzz with this idea that, that uh, the old... Uh, you know, that the, the Joe Biden might go away and Senator Clinton come in there, which I guess is just poppycock, right? Yeah, total, that's absolutely ridiculous. Total ridiculous it's, stuff to even talk about. A, absolutely ridiculous. Crazy. I think the president was being candid. Crazy stuff I, for crazy people. It is absolutely insane. And, and But I think that the president was being candid. I think Hillary really didn't want the job. I think she would have stepped Poppy up cock. if asked. She's always, she's always done so. Uh, but I think that uh, Joe Biden is a good choice. Hillary would have been a great choice. Joe Biden is a great choice. So, and I think so, the so what fair. about Sarah Palin? What about Sarah Palin? Sot number one. Escuche. Do I think who's qualified? Well, Sarah Palin, because she was the governor and you were the governor. Well, when I was elected, that? though, I, I, was, I was just Barack Obama's age. We're almost exactly the same age we were then. I can still remember that. <laughs> and, uh, but I was the longest serving governor in America. So President Bush said I wasn't qualified, and I wasn't as qualified as he was on international issues. But I was more qualified on the economic issues, and those were the things that dominated the 92 election. So, Chip, he didn't answer about where Governor Palin he likes her, whether he's qualified. I don't blame him. I mean, he's a Democrat. She's a Republican. What, what are her qualifications in your estimate, the estimation that make her best for to be the vice president? Well, as a governor, she's actually managed something. She's been a chief executive. She's got she's had experience as governor, had ex experience as mayor. You know, first let me say something about Bill Clinton. Look, we know John Kennedy was our first TV president, but Bill Clinton's our first reality TV star. You can't help but love to watch this guy and hang on every word. The fact is, everything he does is drama. When he talks about oh, Clinton, Hillary didn't really want to be vice president. I mean, come on. You can just read them every time I you're like, going, I can't believe they didn't pick Hillary. Yeah, well, you know, that would have been one avenue. Uh, but, you know, look, the Clintons are not going to be really hurt if Obama doesn't win this election. So to have Bill Clinton come on and be their stump speaker is probably not uh, Obama's favorite uh, stump speaker at this point. On bottom, the view. bottom right of your screen, I'm sure you've noticed we're dancing on the 11,000 barrier there. It won't be the first time we've gone through it if it goes through it today. Uh, but that's a little bit of a psychological spot there. I just, it's a round number is the only reason is, you know, more stupidity from Wall Street. <laughs> Frazier Seitel, how did President Clinton do today? Oh, you got to love him. Even <laughs> if you hate him, you got to love Which him. Which you do. Bubba is Bubba. And, oh this, my God. And, and this was important. This was part of the. Can Bubba I call President Bush Jorge if you can call him you Bubba? You can call him. It's, it's still a free <laughs> country. Each, each of them is wrong. It's still ahead. a free country, 11,000 or not. Clinton needed this. This is part of the Reputation Resurrection Express. He's got this hopelessly uh, liberal uh, Lulu bunch at The View. Good for him. Well, they're, they're not all liberal. There's one down there on the right who's not liberal. Yeah, boy, and she was pulling her punches today. Bubba, <laughs> Bubba was in control. Good for Bubba. All right. Uh, what, I guess, is, I don't know if there's anything else to learn from President Clinton being on The View, except I guess you learned that they're looking to get some message out there. I, I, I wonder, Bernie, what was it? Well, look, I think we want to reach out, continue to reach out to Hillary supporters, and, and I think Barack Obama has done that by explaining exactly how his economic plan is going to help average working families through tax cuts for the middle class, help for uh, homeowners that are at risk of losing their homes, and importantly, to get a handle on this economic crisis. But let me just mention Sarah Palin. Sarah Palin is not qualified to be his vice president, not because of her lack of experience, but because her views are so out far outside the mainstream. I mean, this what is someone mean? who does not believe in global warming, but does believe in banning books. And we don't have the time to really get to know her because she's been shielded so much from real Americans asking well, her Well, since questions. you said that, I think I was going to make that the last answer. But you, since you said that, I, w I want to get over to the Republican. Chip, Chip Saltzman, yeah. she, she did try to ban books. She went to the library and tried to have some, have some books take, taken out of there. And she's been very clear that she doesn't believe global warming is man-made, despite what the scientific community says. So, I don't know, defend her for me. Well, you know, I think Sarah Palin, when she was mayor, talking about the book situation, she didn't ban any books. She went to the library at the concerns of some other citizens to take to a look at some To see if she could books. get some books pulled. Well, she wanted to look and see what the options were for her constituency. And you know what? That's what That's they should do as a mayor. They should take a look at that. And whether uh, books ought to be banned for real? I just want to make sure no, I know your position, books ought to be No, no. I want to no, make sure Chip, I know your position here. I need to know your no. position. So is it your position now that, that, you know, banning books is okay? 
banning books is not okay, and that okay. is not what Sarah Palin tried to do. And I mean, Bernard's kind of making it up as he goes no, along. No, 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 that's issue. not fair. No, the now, if they're trying clear. to make something up and on the other books side, is un -American. Wait, if they're going to try to make he, something on the Democrat didn't try side, to ban I'm going to any books. If they're going to try to make something up, I'm, a, I'm not going to let them do it. But the fact I is, appreciate that. But the fact is, when they when she went into the library to ask questions about certain books, that is I'm, that is what she was trying she to do to find out if it was possible about, to get them pulled. No, Shep, That's what she asked. She was asking questions about certain books because people in her community were asking her to find out those questions. Right. She got that information. She passed it on, but she did not try to ban any books. And no the books citizens were should have gone That's to the right. librarian and no asked the banned. librarian. Yeah. All right. I mean, bottom line, but well, were any books banned? It's no. not going to get the economy fixed, and uh, they're not taking any books out of my <laughs> library because they're just sitting there waiting for me to read them. <laughs> That's right. Good of you all. Thank you. Good to see you.